Hey y'all, Krista Petta Court here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my first official unboxing. So I attended YouTube Black's virtual live event last week. And for black women, it was called Crown and Glory. And they sent us all a gift. And so I thought I would do my first official <laughs> unboxing with y'all. And the funny thing is, last week i tried to do this but bear with me um uh oh last week i tried to do this and i got all done and <laughs> i hadn't pressed record because i did so many takes so this week i said i was going to do it and get it here for y'all for my youtube black so let's take a look at this box so first they sent a box to me and i want to show my address they sent a box to me and it says youtube black and it says crown and glory how awesome is that and so i will tell you this is actually my second official unboxing i'm going to put this on my bed because I just turn the camera I'm packing um, so that it can come up high and y'all can see it um, so, a little unprepared but this is how unboxing goes unboxings go right you know they're probably much fancier and prettier than this but this is my unboxing so awesome box i said i gotta get it done today because i want to put the other big box in the recycle bin and try to come down so it's so cool so i received hi creator somebody actually called me a creator of a small youtube channel but it is growing see that crown can y'all see that crown whoop, whoop. and yeah, so I have, this spring we are giving black women creators their well-deserved flowers with crown and glory. That's what it says. We know you've been hard at work planting seeds to build a better world, and we want to celebrate you with this majestic gift from YouTube by Re Reina Noriega. As part of this moment, we gave seven phenomenal creators their well-deserved flowers. Can y'all see me? on YouTube, on our YouTube social channels. Discover what motivates them to push culture forward. And so this is so cool. Um, but then, let's see. Okay, so then I received, there's something awesome in here because I already received it, but I wanted y'all to, I wanted to open it with y'all. Like I said, when I opened it up and did not record <laughs> so i'm doing it over so this book is by reina noriega and it's author of in bloom i love that poems and musings on the beauty of isolation i think in this season of my life i don't want to be in isolation because i spent so much time in isolation as a single mom as a um, working mom it was work church home and kids events and so this part of my life I am blooming but I think it's a beautiful book I kind of looked through it when I opened it the first time and I'm excited to get into some of the poems because I know a, a lot about blooming in isolation that would, would be what the Bible calls um, treasures in darkness that the Lord will give us treasures in dar darkness hidden treasures in darkness so when you're in a season of darkness when you're going through a dark season often those are the times that God will reveal to to you the treasures that are in you that he refines you that he brings out those things like diamonds that are in you those treasures that are buried deep inside of our busyness our happy life and all those things but when we get into isolation when we get into a dark and quiet season what i like to call a night season then god begins to reveal things in us 
not just to us, outside of us, but in us, those treasures that he put in us. The Bible says that we have this treasure hidden in, earthen, in an earthen vessel, and he begins to reveal the gifts that he put inside of us for his glory, and those are the true treasures, the riches, the things and gifts that he reveals to you, how he shows you his word and draws you close to him. And so I don't know what her book is about, but I do understand from my perspective and my experience that there are definitely treasures in isolation, but then there's a time and I'm in that season to go out and um, do something different with, you know, bless people, which obviously she has because she's written a book. Um, with that time of isolation, the treasures, the the what is this called? The beauty of isolation. Cocoon. <laughs> I love that. In my cocoon. So here is the book. And what I think is so cool. Thank you, YouTube. They put my name on here. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see that? Let me, let me step back. And my name is right there. And then you can see down here, YouTube Black. So I will be putting this up and they gave me some hardware for that. And so this kicks off my birthday month. This month, I have some cool things I want to share with you guys and some cool videos I will be doing. Let me just sit on the side of my bed. Uh -oh. Some cool videos that I will be doing with you guys um, so that um, to talk about midlife to talk about women going through the intersections of change and what that looks like as we navigate life and we navigate new seasons and we find ourselves at those divine intersections between here and there what was and what can be an old season in a new beginning. I want to talk about that. And I want to share some advice with you guys this month. Um, you know, things that I've learned um, as I have come. I'm going to be 49 on May 31st. And um, don't let this little hair piece fool you. <laughs> um, I have some grays behind here. Maybe you can see it. But um, I'm going to be 49 May 31st. I have four children. I have been married. I have been divorced. I was a teenage mom. And so um, I became a born again Christian and that changed the trajectory of my life. And so I want to share some things for women who maybe are in your 30s going into your 40s or women who are in your early 40s and you're just rethinking what you want to do with the rest of your life. I want to speak to you and encourage you um, with the blessings of God and with the lessons that I've learned, the beauty, blessings, purposes, and lessons that I have learned over the different seasons that I have walked through in all kinds of different situations. I've been, like I said, I've been married, I've been single, I've been someplace in between with you where I was waiting for my ex-husband, but we weren't quite together. Um, almost engaged but almost doesn't count you know almost got married again and so those type of things and i've been you know in relationships i've been a career woman i've been a stay-at-home mom um with a wealthy husband or well-off husband should i say where i got to stay home and take care of my children and and do that i also have gone back to work which was by choice and and got to work in a career that i love i've been in ministry i have a life before christ and so i'm going to be sharing some of those lessons throughout this month so you can catch me here i'm actually going out of town for my dad's 80th birthday but you can catch me um, on YouTube or Instagram where I will be sharing throughout this month after I get back. So after Mother's Day and all the way until my birthday, I will be sharing things that God has put on my heart to share with women who may be walking through some things that I've gone through to help encourage you and equip you and just let you know that you're going to make it, that life is going to be okay, that no matter how many twists and turns life brings, that as long as God is with you, that you're going to be okay. And so um, look forward to that and subscribe if you have not. God bless you. And again, thank you, YouTube Black. I am not just, I am a Christian YouTuber. 
who talks about navigating seasons of life. And I also share prayer and biblical studies and teaching, should I say, to help people navigate change and while they're waiting, especially in transition. And so for this month, I'm doing something different. So for me to get invited to YouTube Black, you don't have to dumb down yourself. You don't have to dumb down who got our water down, who got called you to be. Um, you can be who God called you to be. If that's Christian, if that's different in this generation and in this time that being a Christian is, you know, sometimes, you know, there's different kinds of Christians, but being a Christian who, you know, preaches the word and all of that, regardless of whatever else is going on in life is not always as popular and well received, but God favors those who stick with what he's called them to do. And so I'm just honored that I was invited to this event. I don't, do, I mean, I met so many women that did so many amazing things. And I'm like, I'm just preaching the word of God on the channel, I'm praying for people. I speak in tongues, all those things. And to get invited to this event, I, I pray to get invited to more events um, in the future. I want to be invited to a one in person and just really get to be that light in that in that space and i'm sure there's other lights in fact i met a lot of cool women who are christians who are not doing um bible teaching and stuff but they do incorporate their faith and what they're doing on youtube um some in fashion some in interior design some in career and all those different things and so i met some cool youtubers who have way more subscribers than i do and i we connected and hopefully you'll you guys will get to see some collaboration soon but yeah it was really nice to meet people and have people drawn to me because of what I do and um, sometimes saying that you're a Christian or that you're a preacher or a teacher of the gospel um, in certain environments can push people away from you it either um, push it draws people toward me or moves them away from me and you know it's just like so we all got to say what we did in this particular event and I just said I am a Christian youtuber who shares how to navigate shares a prophetic wisdom and insight for navigating the seasons of life and um yeah it, it was a icebreaker and the people that i connected with were also christians so don't be ashamed of your faith and don't be ashamed of who god called you to be even when he takes you is outside of the church doors and your crystal christian circles um, that's because he has need of you in those environments and so you can show your light so you can be a blessing to other people and maybe there's a connection for you there and so I hope that has encouraged you like I said stay tuned it's my birthday month please excuse my room I have pillows piled up in the back because I am house sitting my daughter's dogs um, and then my my roommate is house sitting my daughter's dogs I have a roommate or a person who um, rents a room for me I call her my roommate she's very sweet and um, she's gonna be house sitting my daughter's dogs from for us for her while we're gone and anyway so I take all my pillows off of my couch because they take over my couches so I put sheets on and take my pillows out of the living room so that they do not sit on my pillows like that okay because I have white furniture so I have to cover it because they're like little kids but God bless y'all um hope I didn't babble too much and see you in the next video thank you YouTube YouTube Black Crown and Glory events how fitting